Hello and welcome to another nature photography video. Uh, this is the second video in this little series. If you saw the first video, I'll try and put a link up here somewhere. Um, basically, I was deciding where I was going to put um, my bird feeders and I was looking at the background and the light to decide the best position to shoot from. So in this video, I'm going to get the hide set up, but then I'm actually going to show you how I get the birds onto the perches where I want them. You know, getting everything down here, finding the right spot in the first place, all the searching, bringing all the feeders and everything down, that's the difficult bit, that's the hard bit, um, that's the hard bit, that's the leg work. Uh, now is the fun bit, I get to put the hide up. I'm not going to show entirely how to set everything up in the hide. Uh, I did a video, so I'll just put a link up somewhere here. Um, that video just shows you exactly how to set the hide up from first unfolding it to getting the poles up and the netting and everything. So that's it, really simple, got the hide up. Uh, one of the great things about these hides is they are very lightweight, which means if I want to move position, I can just get in, pick it up and move it around. really simply um, so I do like having a temporary hide like this because it means you're not stuck in one position permanently so I've got a couple of bird feeders at the moment uh, I've got some peanuts and I've got this mixed bird seed with sunflower hearts as well um, I may change the position it's not set in stone in fact I might move them around a bit depending where the Sun is but basically before the birds come here they're very likely to perch on branches nearby so they may already perch in the trees around um, but what we want to try and do is get them to go on specific perches for photography. So the idea is uh, to get a perch and if we can get that roughly maybe six inches or a foot away um, from the bird feeder and then hopefully they're going to go on there before they go into the food. So you need to find a way of actually putting your perch up. Um, so you, there's various ways of doing it using poles for example. You could use something like this which I think is uh, for like putting up temporary fences. These will go into the ground really easily and then you can just attach your perch to that. What I really like about this is that you can attach the perch because they've kind of got this curved bit on the end. You can attach your perch that way or you could attach it like this to give you a bit more of an angle and then also if you want you could angle the perch you could actually angle how you put it into the ground and that's going to help you change the position as well another thing you can use is one of these which is called a lazy holder which is for mobile phones and you've basically got this clip on the end and you can clip that to your pole and then the other end you can attach your perch on there and the great thing is that it's basically like a, a bendy arm which means that you can actually position the perch exactly as you want it so clip this end to your pole and then attaching the perch to the other end uh, you could basically use velcro or cable ties quite good or even just good old-fashioned gaffer tape uh, which is what I've got on here so you get your perch on the end of there and then again because you've got this bendy arm which works really well you can actually position this at the angle that you want um, and also you could swivel it back and forward but it's really good because you can get exactly the angle and the position of the perch that you're after. One thing that's not talked about too much is actually the size of the perch. So if I was to use something like this for a, a very small bird, it's just not gonna look very good because it's just gonna dwarf it. Um, the perch is just too big for the bird. So for your small birds, for your tits and robins and that kind of thing, I would say you wanna try and use a really small perch, uh, quite a thin twig. So something like this is just gonna be much more appropriate for the smaller birds and it just kind of looks more delicate and just suits them a lot better. Now for your bigger birds, you've got a few more options, uh, but you can use a much bigger perch. So for something like a blackbird or a jay for example, um, I find they can be easier to get onto big solid perches. So something like this, which I've just found, uh, which has just got a bit of nice, a nice bit of texture to it. And simply get that into the ground. And I find with these perches, the positioning isn't quite as important. If you put it in the general vicinity of the bird feeders, uh, maybe a bit further back as they're coming in, there's a really good chance they're gonna land on there. So there's different ways that we could set this up. We could actually just dig into the ground a little bit and just get it in there so it's nice and solid. Or other options are, get yourself some kind of ground spike pole like this, get it into the ground, and then get your perch against it. 
So when I actually start my photography, I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to the background. So the position here would be quite a good one, where I'm shooting against a nice clear background. It's grass mixed with a bit of leaves. With a big lens, that's going to go out of focus, and it's going to give a really nice, out of focus, colourful backdrop. And also, as well as setting up your own perches, there's no reason why you can't use what's already there. Um, so if I set up the feeders in the correct place, then I could even use branches such as these, which have already got apples on, and there's a good chance the birds will perch on there. So if you've got anything nearby to the feeders that's already really photogenic, then it's always worth trying to use that. And another option would actually be to use these apples. Uh, there's been a few blackbirds and thrushes around this morning, and whilst I've been filming, I've actually had a jay that's come flying through, and he landed briefly on the fence post. Um, so what I could do, I could just sprinkle some food in here, particularly for the jays, if I sprinkle peanuts in these apples, I think they're just going to come straight down uh, and I'm going to get some lovely low level views amongst the apples. So as always, thank you very much for watching the video and all the likes and comments I get are massively appreciated. Um, the next video, hopefully I'm going to be in the hide, I'm going to be with the camera, I'm going to be showing you how I actually get the photographs, getting the birds on those perches. So um, I will see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.